K-I-L-R Killer game So I tried out a couple more uh, G Fuel flavors. One is some, some type of carpet rug. <laughs> sour carpet rug. <laughs> it's like a, a sour blueberry something. And then this raspberry lemonade uh, version. They taste good, but they dry out my throat and they give me a little bit of a headache. I think it's the the sweetener in there. What did you find? What what is that? Oh, I know what you're playing with. Okay. Spice has found something to entertain himself with. <laughs> Why'd you just knock it over there, huh? <laughs> it's it's right it it's right there. There you go. I'll I'll move the X plane boxes for you. Now you can get to it. Yeah. Now. Yeah, I started seeing I started seeing these the the G fuels uh, in Walmart. They're actually expensive. Uh, it was like Speed nine seven eight three traffic at nine ten bucks, and you only get like six packets. One zero o'clock five six or seven packets inside of a little box. Speedbird seven eight three. But I wanted to try them and and see how they were. I'm glad I didn't try to fly this on a Piper Archer. <laughs> Already this feels like it's taken a while. Can you imagine? Oh, oh, we're getting somewhere. We got high. We got something that tuned in. Oh, wait. I think we're getting somewhat close to our next VOR. Or within range. I, it was. It did show up there for a moment. United nine forty nine. Contact one three five point three seven. Three five three seven. United nine forty nine. Hi. Someone is sitting on my lap. 
and then he likes to lay his head on the keyboard which tends to cause problems doesn't doesn't it Okay, so now that we have this Vora tuned in. Challenger 311 Mike. We've got. Traffic at 4 o'clock, 3 miles out, altitude unknown. Challenger 311 Mike has the traffic. We have a little bit over 200 miles left. The whole flight itself was like 756 miles. Looks like we're okay on fuel. Clear jet. One three Foxtrot, turn left heading one five zero. Climb and maintain flight level three three zero. American uh, seventy eight eight Quebec kind of one three three point one seven. American seven eight eight Quebec thirty three seventeen. It's weird. He wants me to go to one five zero. We're not getting any DME on this next VOR, so I don't know how far it is. Make your own cold brew Starbucks type coffee. Refuse the actual Starbucks glass bottles. They have glass bottles? You're right about that. Those energy drinks, you drink too much of it, and yeah, that stuff is not good. What game was it that had me flying around the airport over and over? Center Cessna 896 Oscar is with you, level at flight level 275. I want to say. Oscar, Roger, continue present heading. I want to say it was Roger, Flight Cessna, Simulator 2000. Six, Oscar. TWA 410, counter 135. Or it was Flight Simulator 98. And it was one of the ATC adventures that had me just 
circling around, circling around, circling around. And I just said, ah, screw this, and decided to land. <laughs> I believe it was one of the ATC adventures that came with uh, Airport 2000. And Airport 2000 Volume 1 can be used on Flight Simulator 98. Volume 2 and Volume 3 are only Flight Simulator 2000. FedEx 357 traffic. But I think I tried it on Flight Simulator 98. Pick at 4 o'clock, 3 miles east, altitude unknown. FedEx 357, negative contact. There was that one flight that I did in prepared that was on VATSIM that was part of the uh, the Russian uh, tour the Vatris, the the Russian uh, Vat area. That was that was intense, but that was fun. Yeah, there was that one flight. They had us up in the air, like I don't, I don't know what was going on. I forgot. <laughs> there was some crazy drama going on with it. I remember that much. Another sim, not well known, had painted lines on the HUD. One that I did? Was it Sublogic Flight Light? That one's not very well known. And the HUD was like completely, it was completely whack. Like, <laughs> whatever instruments they came up with it on there were just kind of like, huh? <laughs> but apparently they wanted to make, they wanted to make a flight simulator that was more easier to access and easier to understand to for a younger audience. Five o'clock, four. I think it would have just been better if they just did the instruments the way they were supposed to be. If flight light was sub logic, however. Sierra did do Pro Pilot, Pro Pilot 98. That's what it was. That's what it was. It was Pro Pilot 98. Because that's got ATC, and I do remember being routed around in circles. <laughs> it was Pro Pilot 98. That's what it was. And I did like three oh, versions of it. There's like Pro Pilot 90, Pro Pilot USA, and Pro Pilot 99. And they were basically just patched versions of each other. But it used the Sublogic database. Because I, I know Sublogic's name was on the first ProPilot 98 box. I think it was using four, six, their four, database. Eight, okay. Continental 10, sir. 
76, contact center 132.52. 32.52. Critter 241, flight heading 170, intercept 326, radio arrival. 122, intercept 326, critter 241. Yeah, those would be good to get back to. Those would be good to do. Uh, you know, I haven't done any life, or did I? I don't know if I did any live streams with the ProPilot 98. There was that time where I was doing the live streams of the... When I was, like, recording footage for the regular uh, episodes. But I was live streaming at first. And then using that footage to put together the Center, regular episodes. So I did that with the with you. Commodore the 64 two, and... Nine, zero. Flight Sim 3, Flight Sim 4, the Amiga. Scandinavian. 9 2, 9. Roger. I don't know if I did that for Pro, Pro Flight 98 Roger. or not. Scandinavian, 9 2, 9. At 316, request to create available. At 316, Roger, stand by one. Learjet, 13 Foxtrot, turn right heading 165, climb and maintain flight level 330. Roger, right to 165, out of flight level 330, or flight level 330, Learjet, 13 Foxtrot. Scandinavian, 895, Nine Center, Squawk, 3700, and identify altitude. Scandinavian, 893, Squawk, 3700, level F, flight level 400. Citation, Niner Golf Alpha, content are 126.45. 2645, Niner Golf Alpha, morning. Center, squawk 7073, and ident, verify altitude. Air France, 40, squawking 7073, level at flight level 200. See where we're at so far. Bird Child, three eight six Lima Center, Squawk one four four five, and I dent verify out. Fairchild, three eight six Lima Squawk. I think we're getting Gear close. One three Foxtrot, turn right heading one nine zero to join the zero one zero radial inbound to Bravo Tango Echo climb and maintain flight level three three zero. One nine zero. Roger, right to one nine zero out of flight level three three zero or flight level three three zero Learjet one three Foxtrot.
KLM 813 traffic at 1, 2 o'clock, 5 miles east, altitude unknown. KLM 813 has a traffic. stuttering quite a bit there. The emulation has dropped down to like 72%, 74%. There it goes. Part of that might be because it's also recording at the same time? I don't know. I don't know why it's having problems all of a sudden. It was fine. Surge 8827 can contact the pro roach on 111 8.1 Russia 1 8 8.1 8 7 7 good good <laughs> Okay, PC emulator, you can stop with the frickin' stuttering. I don't usually have this kind of problem with... A flight simulator... 98, oh, I get, I'm going to have to tone down that Pentium 200 and get better emulation. Unfortunately, I can't do it in the middle of a flight. Well, I managed to get it up to 100% just being on this screen. That's 
7051 and then then verify altitude. Then no four. Tango, block at 7051. Level at flight level 195. Southwest 1035, Continental 126.45. 2645, Northwest 1035. Sewer air, air seven, eight, 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 with you, level at light, level, level three, 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 zero. Virgin, seven, seven, two, eight, eight, Roger, and continue present, present, heading, heading. Roger, sewer, air, air seven, two, eight. I'm kind of in a unique position than most of the drivers out there because the other drivers you know they just oh no gotta run gotta run gotta keep those wheels moving and Center, center DW, yes you do so that way you can make money and stuff but if I'm not rolling then I'm just gonna work on videos and work on my channel and stuff work on live streams I got stuff that can keep me busy I've got a lot of projects <laughs> Golf stream 5528 contact the approach on 1118.1 Oh Roger 1188.1 Golf I got to get this working on my retro machine. It'll run so much better. Ugh. Well, if I'm sitting tomorrow, <laughs> I still have some other projects to work on, but uh, I don't have all of my software here with me, though, as far as the uh, Flight Simulator 98. I do think. I think yeah, I have flight I have Flight Simulator ninety eight. I have the disc here with me. But I don't have all the add ons and stuff. I'd have to uh dig those out of storage the next time that I go home. Which actually I'm planning that in a couple of weeks, so Austrian 
Jeez. <laughs> Roger, letter left two two one one five zero zero out of out of light light level three 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 zero zero light light level three 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 zero zero jet jet one three three extra. Oh, we got some water. What are we seeing here? Center K L four two five is with you. Level at fifty thousand. K L M four two five. Roger. Altimeter is three three zero one five six. Roger three three zero one five. This is the edge of the continent, but it can't, this high up, it, it, it's not able to render that far. But this looks like the edge of, the, of South America here. I can show you where we are at, though, in our flight plan. Only eight. Eight whiskey center. Squawk five three two three and ident. Verify altitude. Mooney, eight, one, eight, whiskey, squawking, five, three, two, three, level at eight thousand, five hundred. We are right. Okay, that's not what I want here. Come on, red line. So right. We're heading to these coordinates right here. And this was the heading 154 right here. So you can see we don't have too much left to go. Looks like we've got 140 miles left. Bonanza five two one gold traffic at eight eight clock four miles east altitude flight level two zero five Bonanza five two one call has a track. And the last four, we've got that tuned in and we're practically heading heading towards it. Oh, and then right after that, we should be doing our descent. <laughs> they have it set for like 30 miles away from the airport. Of course, that's supposed to be 11,000 feet, not 33,000 feet.
Continental 772 Squawking 5 2 1 2 Level at flight uh -oh. level 180 My internet's at 14% I gotta charge this thing up. That'd be my luck. My device like dies in the stream ends. <laughs> I'm still recording though. Center, Cactus 513 is with you. Level at flight level 240. Cactus 513, Roger. Continue present heading. Roger, Cactus 513. Jet 13 Foxtrot, turn right heading 155, climb and maintain flight level 330. Roger, right to 155, out of flight level 330, or flight level 330, clear jet 13 Foxtrot. Glad we're getting closer because I'm getting tired. <laughs> Don't worry, that's a program that I'm closing. Level at flight level 270. 
Cathay 815, Roger. Continue present heading. Roger, Cathay 815. Delta 118-135.37. Delta 1180, 35-37. Uh, I was uh, on the uh, phone line. Was that American 296? Yes, sir. We sent a message. Uh, hopefully you'll be getting a response here in just a few minutes. Okay, really appreciate it. Continental 142, contact on our 132.52 today. With some work, I... One three box truck descent and maintain fifteen thousand altimeter is oh, three three zero one five. Center Fairchild six six three Sierra. This with you level at flight level one eight zero. For Fairchild six six three Sierra. Roger. Continue pre present heading. Altimeter is three zero one five. Roger three three zero one five. Fairchild six six six. United 8, 8, 8, 97, contest center, 126.45, one, 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 United uh, 8, 97. Alright, we're making our descent. I slowed our speed down to 200 knots. Does the cat, does Spice, yeah, when he's on the truck, he's happy here with me, but when we get home, he, whenever I get close to him, he hisses at me, because he, he doesn't want to leave, he's afraid that if I pick him up, he's going to wind up going back to the truck. But he'll lie down in the bedroom with his brother. One of his brothers, anyway. And then if I walk you, into you the be bedroom, a, he a goes and hides. Eight center, quack, one, four, six, five, and I dent, verify altitude. He and I are yes, both getting eight, worn eight, out. Eight, eight, squawking, one, four, six, five, level at, flight level, one, nine, zero. Aeroflot, two, two, five, traffic at one. One zero o'clock, five miles east. I kind of feel like we need to take a break from it for a bit. For Aeroflot, a bit. two, two, five, has the traffic. Maybe come back to it.
Yeah. I'm not sure. FedEx 3511 Heavy is at a 32-3, climb to 330. FedEx 3511 Heavy is at a American 1923. American uh, 1923, go ahead. Just trying to pick up the uh, continuous flight shop here at uh, 31. Any right before 10? Well, I haven't had any complaints lately. Let me check on uh, with the next sector. Well, we're down to 23,000 feet. We're almost at 15,000. Yeah, maybe they're getting us uh, down at the rate, right rate, rate. This is actually kind of surprising. I thought they were going to try to drop us from 33,000 down to uh, approach uh, level, like within 30 miles or something. Uh, so in, uh, 9 3 Libby Charlie, I'd like to go down to maybe 10,000 or something. November 9 3 Lima Charlie, you to maintain 1 1,000. Roger on a 15 for 1 1 1,000. City Bird, 36 traffic at. What was that? TT Bird? <laughs> at 1 o'clock, 6 miles west, altitude unknown. TT Bird, I don't know who you yeah, are, but. <laughs> three, six, has a King Air, two, six, eight, Bravo, contact the... Only the cool pilots get to use their call signs to air traffic. 1, 1, 8, 1. <laughs> Roger, 118.1, one, one, King Air, 268, Bravo, good day. I use 13 Foxtrot because that was my MOS or my job position when I was in the Army. 13 Foxtrot, it is a fire support specialist has nothing to do with putting out fires it does have to do with starting fires <laughs> more like explosions we're known as forward observers so when artillery needed to basically whenever we needed to have the infantry shoot uh, mortars or have artillery shoot missiles forward observers would be out there Looking at the target, saying, 
Okay, uh, zero, zero, coordinates, zero, zero, this, that. Center, Air Canada, five, zero. Is you drop, uh, 12,000. You have them drop around. Air Canada, five, zero, roger. Altimeter is three, zero, one, five. So your five, target one. is here, and your round mic roger, over here. Three, and zero, one, five, Air Canada, You'll five, need to, zero. like, add so many meters, and you're basically kind of hopping it over the target, getting closer, until finally you're within 50 meters, and then you fire for effect. That's when all the guns fire. <laughs> and and when you see this live, it is just something else. Because you can just hear it just... Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it, it, one, of the, one of the coolest things uh, uh, that I remember when I was in the military. My lockers aren't engaged? What? <laughs> Was someone making a comment to a trucking video? uniform is now cancelled as IFR. He does want some more flight following though. Okay. Uh, Had to do with one of the videos I did when I was stuck in the mud and snow. It has nothing to do with the lockers. I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> when the when the truck and trailer were stuck in the mud and snow, your lockers aren't engaged. There was nothing. I don't even know what he's talking about. Uh, and two, it didn't matter because I just continued to dig myself deeper. That's all it was. The ground was just too soft. There was nothing for the tires to grab onto to get me out of there. There was just nothing. And I was not the only truck stuck out there. I was not the only one. I got stuck first. This other truck came. He was like, he thought I was taking a break at a cockeyed angle. I mean, what else would you think if you saw Swift just sitting there? <laughs> So he went around me, and then he got stuck. <laughs> and then he realized why I wasn't moving. It's like getting stuck in... Okay, that's like trying... That's like getting your truck stuck in quicksand. Well, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. No, man, you're in quicksand. There's nothing to grab onto. <laughs> and like quicksand, the more you fight, the more you sink. That's what it was like. It was just mud and snow. <laughs> I'm sorry, who just called? That was me. <laughs> who called? That was just me. Dear Jet, 13 Foxtrot, descend and maintain 3,500 vectors for the visual. Runway 33, approach. Alright. Roger, out of 15,000 for 3,500. Dear Jet, 13 Foxtrot.
Center, City Bird 237 is with you, level at 16,000. City Bird 237, Roger. Altimeter is 3015. Roger, 3015, City Bird 237. Delta 1087, contact at 133.17. 133, 17, Delta 87. Tower 796, climbing, maintain, maintain, level 310. Thank you, ma'am. Continue flight level 310, Southwest 796. Learjet, 13, Foxtrot, turn left heading 145, descend and maintain 3500. Roger, left to 145, out of 13,500 or 3,500. Learjet, 13, Foxtrot. UPS 102, contact approach on 119er.75. Roger, 119er.75. UPS 102, good day. Got some weird stuff going on here. American seven six one one contact approach on one one nine er point up Roger one one nine er point. Seven five American seven six one. Good day. That's funny. Disclaimers on commercials. I think they got us landing on runway 35, so it sounds like we're going to be passing the airport and coming around. Now keep in mind, the airport we're landing at is also custom content. Uh, before the custom content, it was just a runway out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but the custom content... It's got buildings and all kinds of stuff, so it's kind of kind of nice. And I like to take advantage of custom content when I can. Because, you know, hey, there are some people that put a lot of work uh, in into those airports. And so, why? Jet. One, three, Why not feature them? Reduce speed to two one zero. It's at one eight zero. Oh well, no, it's not. <laughs> Roger, left to one four five out of five thousand four three thousand five hundred. Your jet one three. Fox truck. It's because my vertical speed is down 
I was trying to get down to 3,500 as quickly as possible. Now it'll go down. Ah, uh, now this is where you can't really see what's going on. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, you can't look over the, uh, the top there. Although I can do this. I'm just moving the eye level so that way we can see what's going on there. King, you're uh, six kilo off at your right, heading zero one zero. Right to zero one zero, kilo off. Center Gulfstream eight one four Tango, with you level at sixteen thousand. Gulfstream eight one four Tango, Roger. Altimeter is three zero one five. Roger, 3015, Gulfstream, 814, Tango. I wonder if that's it up ahead. Up there. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, I wondered, uh, would you have uh, 410, uh, wrong way? Yeah, the ge geography looks better when it's down lower. Um, Flight Simulator 98 could only do like one square at a time. Kind of like Minecraft, where it loads in a chunk, just one chunk at a time. That's kind of like what's going on here. It loads in one chunk. But then nothing else after that. Dear Jet. One three Foxtrot, turn right, heading one five zero. Roger, right to one five zero, maintain three thousand five hundred. Dear Jet, one three Foxtrot. Galaxy. Four niner two uniform traffic at three o'clock three miles west altitude flight level two three five galaxy four nine that's two, it right uniform, there negative contact that's Western the airport fifty three cross one zero thousand two five zero nine altimeter three zero one seven or ten thousand two hundred fifty nine altimeter three zero one seven you know nineteen fifty three Zero two X ray turn right heading one six zero. Join Victor twenty one southwest of VOR flight plan route. Uh, zero two X ray one uh, six zero and uh, connect with twenty one. We'll get a thing of flaps up here or down.
Lime Care. Four seven two Papa. Papa Center. Squawk two zero zero three six and nine dent. Verify altitude. Lancer four seven two Papa. Squawking two zero three six. Level at ten thousand five hundred. Dear Jet, 13 Foxtrot, contact approach on 119er.75. Roger, Lear Jet, 13 Foxtrot, good day. Approach Learjet. At one three, Oxtra is with you at three thousand five hundred IFR. Roger, Learjet one three, Oxtra radar contact turn left heading one five zero. Roger, Learjet one three, Oxtra. There it is. There's the airport. Approach Scandinavian 5 Niner, level at 8000. Scandinavian 5 Niner, roger. Ranger 605 heavy traffic on a three mile final for two We're going to be going to manual control here pretty soon. There's the airport right down there. I am emulating hardware acceleration. It's a, 
supposed to make things a little bit more smoother. And this haze in the background there, I think it does that too. It's uh, emulating a Voodoo 2 card. Southwest 11, 18, clear visual first runway 25 left, wind is uh, 19017. Clear visual 25 left. Reno Air 711, I'm going to change your runway, maintain 7000, you expect 19 left, it's going to be a little bit closer for you, got an emergency going into 25 right. Yeah, we understand, no problem. Clear 711, thank you, maintain 7000, turn left heading 360. 7000, 360, airport site. Approach, Aloha, 185 at 6,000, squawking 5005. Aloha, 185, send and maintain, 2,000, turn left, heading 180. Roger, down to 2,000, turn 180, Aloha, 185. Turn 187, reduce speed to 180, then descend and maintain. 180 speed, then 6,000, 187. Learjet 13, Foxtrot, turn left heading 05, send and maintain 3,000. Roger, left 2, 3, 4, 0, out of 3, 000, 500, 4, 3, 000, Four niner eight at five thousand squawking six one seven four. Air tram four niner eight send to maintain two thousand turn right heading zero niner zero. Roger down to two thousand turn zero niner zero air tram four niner eight. Clear jet one three box truck clear to final four or runway three three con contact tower on one eight point point five one established. Roger, out, out of 3,500 or 4,000 until still established on the final four. Runway 333, three, 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 Learjet 13, Foxtrot. Learjet 13, Foxtrot, reduce speed, 180. <coughs> Approach, come here, take 2, seven, seven, level at 5,000. Five, come here, take 2, 7, run, Roger. Heavy cross one left and runway one right. Hold short of two eight left at the approach end. cross one left and one right. Hold short of two eight left. Trying to contact ATC here. Tower, Learjet 1, 3, Uxtra, turning final for landing, runway 3, 3. Roger, Learjet 1, 3, Uxtra, cleared to land, runway 3, 3. Roger, cleared to land, Learjet 1, 3, Uxtra. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Traffic will be a Boeing 747 departing prior to arrival. Start reducing. Wind 050 at 5, runway 28 right. Clear to land. Go ahead and we'll float up.
Vector 609, traffic landing, runway 1 and left, we'll short the intersection, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff, wind 350 at 5. Vector 609, clear to go, 25 right. Uh, 898 heavy, wind 010 at 4, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff, 898. Well, we are coming in really, really fast here. We did it. Blue jet one three. Box truck. Contact ground on one two one point nine right. When clear of the active. Roger. Clear jet one three. Box truck. Get in. I believe there is a taxiway over here. Actually, let's just go over here where the buildings are at. Tower. FedEx five three two at three thousand. Walking six seven one three with information Lima FedEx I three two enter right downwind Roger right downwind FedEx five three two Well, we do have some more buildings over there to the, uh, to the right. Let's go check those out. I mean, immediate take off. Yeah, that way we can take a look at this airport and the uh, the work that was uh, put into it. Now, both airports were created by the same artist. 
uh, Andre Letterer of Lion Works. I think he did a lot of the South American uh, airports. And a fantastic job, too. It's like there might be some... Uh, I don't want to say water, water, water barrels, but you know what I mean. The um, they're tanks, tanks, water tanks, or they could be fuel tanks, actually. Shuttle, you might any chance for the right if we slow it down. Sir, turn leave affirmative. Number two, follow the Dutch. Is now ahead to your right, left, and around right. runway three one right, clear to land. Seven, Shuttle, you might clear to land three one right. 73 Mike, runway 31 right, clear to land, number one. Uh, grab the rod, 7, uh, city of rise. 7, city of Mike. 5, the Mike, runway 31 left, clear to land. Right, that's it, uh, city of rise, 7, city of Mike. 249, after landing, no delay on the runway. We'll head over here now and take a look at the uh, scenery that's on this side of the airport. I think that's an Iberia airliner right there. That looks like the colors of Iberia. what I think fascinates me by the old simulators of just how much work they put into it to try to make it as real as, as it gets, right? I mean, it's nothing like what Flight Sim 2020 is, you know, now it just looks too real. Uh, it may not fly real, but it looks great. Galaxy two niner four India but, cleared for takeoff south. I don't know. There's just something to say about the old Roger, simulators, and two, niner, four, India. they had to be more creative, you know, to to try to get the most that they could out of the technology of the time. That's like painting a. Uh, Painting a portrait or something with only a limited canvas to work on. I think we'll we'll park over here.
Copy, one four Romeo, leaving class five airspace for <laughs> change approved. Good day. One four Romeo, good day. That's the thing, you know, with Flight Simulator 2, they had to focus on the simulator part. Japan Air 780, cleared to land. Because, yeah, the Roger, graphics weren't there. to land, Japan 780. This looks like a good place. Wind 010 at 4, landing at the ramp will be at your own risk. Oh, I forgot to tune in the ground. Oops. Well, I guess we'll do that now. <laughs> I wanted to get off, uh, off of the uh, runway and I just completely forgot. can't remember what the control was to, for ground. One two one point nine five. I got that tuned in, but I don't remember what the command was to tell them that I was clear of the runway. Clear jet. Oh, that might be it. Clear jet one three fox trot. Clear of the active runway. There we go. Clear jet one three fox trot. Taxi to terminal. Roger. Taxi to terminal. Clear jet one three fox trot. There we go. Can't remember how to turn off the engine. There is zone. three, three, six, three. Hold short at the next intersection. Roger. Hold short at the next intersection. Very three, six, three. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how to turn off the engines here. Let's see. I think I can just go into aircraft, aircraft settings, engines. Yeah, there we go. Turn it off. There we go. I can't remember the keyboard control. I thought it was like control E1 for engine 1 and then like F1 or something. Oh, okay, so the engine wants to stay on. Got it. <laughs> what well, we can't we can't turn them off. That'd be nice if we could. Yeah, I got them turned off. Well, shoot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe it's under realism. Nope. That's okay. Thought maybe there might be some controls on here somewhere. Ground Quantus Niner three eight at the terminal with information Lima. Quantus Niner three eight taxi to runway and hold. We can't pause it. That 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 way we can pretend that the uh, <laughs> that the uh, engine is off there. So there we go. We're here at the was it the Jorge Chavez Airport in Lima, Peru. Custom scenery there. 
and I think our landing was okay. Usually, uh, with the aircrafts, I, I can usually do okay with the uh, uh, the Learjet, and then the prop planes I can do well with. A CRJ I can usually do okay with. It's the it's the heavy hitters, the 737s, 747s, uh, that I tend to have a little bit of trouble with. But no, we did pretty good. I am happy on how that uh, flight turned out. <laughs> It'll run out of gas eventually. Oh yeah, FS22 2020 going for an arcade feel. Yeah, it sold. That's for sure. I mean, you know, bottom line, it's all about money. You know, but you know, it worked, you know, and they can put that back into development. So we got FS 2024 that's going to be coming out, uh, which even looks more like a game um, with all the different careers and stuff that you can do. I mean, that's going to be fun, too, I think. But, I mean, there's definitely more game uh, in that than uh, 2020. And I don't know if you knew about this i don't know if you were on i don't think you were on that particular stream the uh the x-plane the first x-plane uh stream that i did a few days ago uh you might remember aero bisector uh who shows up on my streams every now and then he said that prepared version 6 is coming out on july 3rd and sure enough, it is. Uh, he sent a, a link to the uh, trailer on it. Uh, it's got some improvements on there. Some improvements with the lighting. I think the clouds look a little better. Uh, and I think some of the autogen and some of the buildings are supposed to be improved. But other than that, they're they're beginning to focus a little bit more on the military aspect of it. Um, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, P3D is not going to be able to compete with uh, X-Plane and, and uh, Microsoft now. I mean, it's, it's way out of date. Uh, but I commend them for, you know, continuing with the FSX engine. And, you know, really trying to push and uh, mold uh, FSX into what they've been able to do with P3D. And I think I may still get uh, P3D version 6. So, you know, and I think the reason for that is because I don't think there's going to be many people that are going to get it, honestly. Uh, there are going to be people that are going to stick with 4, they're going to stick with 5. I don't think anyone's going to really get moved to six. I think very few people are going to do that. Uh, so I think it's a good opportunity uh, to do some videos and flights with P3D6 uh, for people who want to see it. So, yep. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and call it a night because it is after midnight where I'm at. And uh, I think I'll head out and see if anyone's using that washer. <laughs> Try to get the, the a little bit of laundry done that I've got. Well, thanks, uh, Shot, for being here with me on this stream. That was fun as far as uh, everyone else that showed up on the stream. And for those of you who uh, are watching uh, later on, Perhaps you're watching the uh, stream uh, after the fact on, on Twitch, because it, it, it'll be there for 10 days, or uh, later on on YouTube. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the retro flight. Thanks, and I will see you on another stream and another video real soon. Have a killer awesome day.